Well, thanks for having me, Alicia. And, you know, to say the least, the last year of my life has been uh, pretty difficult, but I am determined that I will not have gone through this uh, in vain. I really want to use this experience not only to raise awareness about what can happen to public officials who are attacked by this sort of right wing hate campaign, um, but to the effect of disinformation and online abuse on our democracy. This isn't normal, right? It dis disincentivizes people from pursuing public service and it alters the way our democracy works. So that's why I'm trying to raise awareness about all of this stuff. Uh, I can take it. Uh, it has not been a pleasant year. Certainly our, our security, my family's security is um, in a much different place than it was uh, a year ago. But as I said, uh, I want to raise awareness and make sure that the people like Josh Hawley, like Jim Jordan, who subpoenaed me to appear before his committee on Monday, uh, you know, that these people are uh, called out for the liars that they are and that entities like Fox News, which are upending lives like mine, are brought to justice. You are planning to sue Fox News. Your sense of what accountability from the network would look like for you? Well, you know, I think we've learned a lot about uh, the way that Fox lies and the contempt with which they hold their viewers uh, over the past couple of weeks as we've learned more about the Dominion lawsuit. Um, in my case, you know, when I looked at the hundreds of times that Fox has lied about me, it became really clear that uh, even though it's a, a high bar to meet for defamation and false light claims, that I owe it to our democracy to to try to pursue these claims. Um, frankly, you know, a lot of people think, oh, they were just insulting her. It's not about insults. Uh, Fox completely fabricated statements of mine. They fabricated viewpoints of mine. And I could tell when I was being mentioned on Fox because I would get waves of hateful comments and even death threats. Uh, and that continued for 10 months after I left government. I served in government for 10 weeks. So I think there needs to be accountability, as I mentioned, uh, against these uh, these entities which are holding the truth and their viewers in such com contempt and having um, a real effect on individuals like me. And it's not just about me. Again, it's about our democracy. It's about national security. It's about the people and especially the women who are going to come after me and, and hopefully consider public service in the future. Uh, this is not something that our democracy can survive if it's allowed to go forward much longer like this. Nina, to that end, you published the guide, How to Be a Woman Online, Surviving Abuse and Harassment and How to Fight Back at, at the Height of These Far-Right Attacks. Uh, I mean, I agree with you fundamentally that it is a systems and structure problem that needs to be solved. I also understand the need for individuals to have resources and tools at their disposal. Should they go through what you have gone through? What advice from the book were you then able to use in your own life? Well, honestly, Alicia, I had a private security consultant at the height of the attacks, and he said that if I hadn't been implementing my own advice from the book, which ironically happened and was published long, uh, well, conceived long before the attacks, the worst attacks against me started, um, that I would be in a much different situation. So I just encourage your viewers to be vigilant about what they share online, to definitely have two-factor authentication and you know password managers in place, and, uh, and also to hold your digital ground, right? One of the things that's really important to me in standing up to these bullies is making the point that I'm not going to be silent, I'm still here, and I'm not going to let them silence me or anyone else like me. Um, and that's a lot of what the book is about, building that community, making sure that you have the support networks to withstand these attacks, because unfortunately, this is a real part of, of being a public figure and sometimes of even just being a, a citizen in our digital democracy today. So, uh, you know, I, I'm glad that I had that experience. I wish I didn't have to, to go through it this way to make it count. But uh, hopefully others can learn from what I've gone through and hopefully we'll be charting a path forward of more accountability for the people who think that they can lie with impunity and send death threats and abuse online in order to silence others.